Hey YouTube, this is Dirty OM. Um, I'm here because I have a computer, so I don't have to work on my iPod anymore. But um, I did a hairstyle. I haven't done one of those in a while. Oh, and hopefully I'll be able to get the pictures up of my hair, um, of the dye, very soon. But I have to work on getting my sister to email those to me because I don't have them like, on a flash drive. Um, so I did a style, and the only thing is I have loose hair. And I just kind of want to experiment in the video to show you different ways that you could um, make this style into like completely different things. So what I did was, it's similar to a video response that I made to, I can't remember the user's name, but she did a literacy inspired updo. And I did another version of hers where I did the same thing except at the top she had like curls but I didn't do curls I did something different with it so I use that same idea but it's a little different um so in hers she just flat twists everything to the center and I did that so I flat twist everything to the center on both sides but with her she leaves this part untwisted and I twisted this part also so um I flat twisted all of that Oops. <clears throat> technical difficulties so I flat twisted all this up to the center um, and I just use one lock because I flat twisted it in the same direction with each lock um, and I use the last lock to just do a little knot so I'm not putting any rubber bands in my hair I haven't used anything yet um, I have my pins here because I don't know I might need a few but for right now I have nothing in my hair it's just all hair so the first thing that I thought about doing was Either you can make this an updo, or it could simply be a way of kind of putting all of your hair down into a cute style, or you could actually have some hair out. And I don't know if you try and do this, if it's going to look the exact same, but the way my hair is, since I, I went from the bottom to the top, so the way my hair ended up was it went around and then these last two go straight back rather than coming up from the side. So my hair, you know, my loose hair starts here and then goes back all the way to the bottom middle of my head. So um, the way my hair is, I actually had this loose hair that's hanging down right here that I thought was, I mean, I'm not going to wear it like this, but it's, it's kind of kiddish looking, I guess. But it does add a little difference into the style, you know, so it allows this part to be side twisted and then this part to be out. Um, and what I did was in the back, I, um, basket, I used a basket weave technique to, um, I started here and then I came down and put this part in a bun with my hairnet so that some of the hair would not be, not like not all the hair would be loose and this hair would be out. So that's one of the things I did. Another thing you could do is to basket weave all of it either down or up um i mean you could also leave it out it would be like i don't know a type of like mohawk type thing i don't know how you want to sit your hair maybe put it all to the side basically if your hair is long enough i'm sure that you could find a way to like put this in a ponytail or something but basically just have all the hair hanging to the side so that it looks like this still showing you guys and then this side is flat twisted so I mean that would probably be my least favorite alteration but I don't know oh if you put curls in it too sorry that's my phone um if you put curls in it too though and did this and that would probably be really cute to leave the curls out and then have them hanging down from the side so um what you can do is you can basket weave it down and I'm going to start at these top two and just basket weave them. And basket weave is literally you take, you know, two sides of hair and you put one over and put one over. And then you just keep doing that as you go down. So just take every end of the flat twist. And this is where you might need the pins, especially with me because some of my locks are a little shorter than others. So they're going to stick up rather than, um, you know, they're not going to be able to be held down perfectly by the other locks or whatever.
and this I like bass beating so much because it actually looks really cool and I guess you can't really say complex. If you don't understand basket weaving, you would think that it looked really complex, but it's so simple. But it's like a braid, you know? Like, I think braids look really pretty on locks just because of the way that they have, like, the three diagonal like that. I think that's really pretty. And a flat twist is kind of the same concept. Like, it's really pretty the way that the hair is just weaved over the other, but at the same time, it's so simple to do. But it's a really cute style, and it can be pretty, you know, you can make it pretty fancy, too honestly um depending on like what else you do with your hair or how long your hair is or whatever so um i did that as you can see some of my locks are sticking up um i don't know why i didn't bring a scrunchie in here Ow. i'm in my mom's room she's really failing me right now she has like 5,000 headbands, and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a big, fat, ugly scrunchie. So, and then like basket weave it to the bottom, and I'll just put it in a bun at the bottom, or put my hairnet on it, or, you know, depending on how long your hair is, you can leave it out, and have it down, or something, I don't know. Um, And then you just, just like any other lock style, where your hair is poking out, you just stick it down. So you can see that the front is a flat twist, and then, I'm sorry, this is, webcam really sucks but um hopefully you can see that that um with this it's flat twisted and then that's where the basket weave starts so you can kind of see how it's overlapping and whatnot and this is it from the side and you can see how it comes up and then goes over Obviously, these are sticking up, but just ignore them. And then the back. And hopefully you can see how, how like, it looks when it's, you know, I think it looks nice when it's weaved like that. And then the other side. So, so that's more, that's another, I don't know. I guess, the, in general, gives you kind of mohawk look, but just is able to stay down because sometimes people don't always want their hair out so you can do that um <sighs> excuse the quality of this camera i i actually think next time i'm gonna make a video with my webcam rather than using this webcam on this computer but i already got interrupted from this video once so um okay and the last thing i'm gonna do um i'm sure you could come up with some other stuff but an excuse the glistening of my forehead. I don't know why, but the water that I sprayed in my hair is, like, not leaving me alone. Um, the last part is to basket weave up. So, and then when we get to the top, we can do something really cute. Because that excess hair is going to be sitting there. You know, maybe you can roll it in a bun or something. I have not tried this yet, so we will see how this works out. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Um, yeah. I wish I had like a stool instead of the actual chair. It's so much easier. Um. Okay. So you do the same thing, but you start from the bottom and you basket weave up. Just like that. Probably be easier to even like stand up and bend over so that your all your hair hangs down. So that it's not all in your way like mine is right now. You don't want to basket weave over hair that you that's you know higher up. Almost there. This one and then this one. Ah, so I got all my hair flat twisted. I can feel some maybe sticking out a little bit. I think for the most part it's pretty decent. Um and then you turn around 
and you're like, oh no, what am I going to do with this hair? But I like to do a little roll where it's going to be a little more difficult if your hair is short. And my hair is so short at the point where I'm definitely going to need pins. But since it's already whipped over each other, I have this chunk and this chunk. I'm just going to roll this chunk. Sorry. Roll this chunk underneath this chunk. So I'm going to do that. Roll that underneath. So now it's over here. And then roll this one underneath. And kind of, I don't know, I guess push them underneath and tuck them under there and braid them in. And then pin them up. Well, pin them down. I feel like I always do this. Every time I need something out of a bag, I never like open it up before I make the video or before I do this. So it's always really, see, look, this water is dripping again. It's always really like difficult for me to open up the bag. So you pin that. I want to pin it so I make sure that it doesn't fall apart so I don't have to make this video with my hand on my head the whole time. And just do it as much as you can because basket weaves, especially if you have a lot of locks, uh, are like really, really annoying to like lose. I, I don't know how to say it, but to unravel, if they unravel, which they will do, oh, it's so annoying. Because it already was so difficult for you to do because you had so much hair and you were like, ugh, and trying to get it out of the way and whatever. So definitely make sure you secure it because depending on how well you basket weave it and how efficient you are in like actually putting, you know, this section on top of this section and as rather than kind of barely putting it over. If you do it perfectly like this rather than like that or, you know, something weird like it's just barely being covered. If you do it like that, then sometimes you can basket weave it and you don't even have to do like so tight so that you're like, oh my gosh, I need a Tylenol. And like you can let go and the basket weave will stay, but sometimes it gets a little fragile. It's one of those um, fragile hairstyles and it can um, fall apart on you. So basically, well, not basically, but yeah. So that's all I did. And there's a few hairs sticking up in the back. But now I have this cool, um, kind of intricate style that allows my hair to stay down. You know, you can go work out with this. And I feel like you could go out to a nice place with this. You know, it's an updo, but it's still cool. It gives you kind of mohawk look. Gives you the pump. Gives you the height in the hair. Um, gives you the volume and all the other good stuff. Um, yeah. So, and I think it's kind of, you know... Monet-ish, actually. I need to stop doing her hairstyles, but the whole idea, the big thing on top of your head, so especially if you have a lot of locks in it, you can really have it, like, hanging off to the side. Um, and definitely, like I just said, you can have it hanging off to the side, depending on how you do your flat twist, you know? You could do a basket weave that starts on this end and ends over here or something, or you can not have these two flat twists and have the center move more to the side so that it kind of curves around your head, you know? And I think that would be pretty cool, too, looking. So, this is it. Flat twist, basket weave, pin down in the front, um, basket weave up in the back. And like I said, if you have any loose locks, just tuck those in or get your pins back out. Um, same on this side. Flat twisted, basket weave in the back. So... And this is one of those styles I think will look really, really cute with, like, big old earrings. So, yes, I'm actually quite happy about this, especially since I didn't try this out. And, um, my locks are so thick, so it kind of stands up more, but it actually also is really fat, so it doesn't look like this skinny, tall thing on my head. But, obviously, if you want it to be fatter, then, um take out I have I actually have this covering up two flat twists right here and honestly if I wanted this to be fatter or to come more out and hang more over my forehead then take those two flat twists out and then incorporate them in your basket weave and then you can roll it under here so and depending on how um thick you want to do it even with the flat twist in if you want this further back then you just basket weave um yeah, well, you would take the two flat twists out, and instead of basket weaving 
that excess hair, you would just start rolling it from back here rather than, you know, basket weaving it and trying to roll it here, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so hopefully I will have those pictures of my hair up fairly soon. And I still, like, look at my hair and I'm like, I kind of want to dye it again. So I might end up doing that um, and using either the high res or the cream of nature, depending on which one I find and maybe on the price and stuff. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoy the style and um, hope that you can try it out. If you want to post a video response, please do because I'd be very interested to see other ideas. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you next time or see you on Thursday. Bye.